good afternoon guys first of all well and welcome back to my channel we have a lot to run through can we just appreciate the purples the reds the greens the blues we literally have everything we've got a couple of items that are due to launch we've got a couple of items that are due to launch in october but i just wanted like a big catch-up okay a big catch-up of gymshark items i had like honestly this huge pile of clothes i was like right i need to film a haul at some point and because there was so many i didn't want to overwhelm you guys with too much so i thought let's whittle it down i think we've got like 15 to 20 items in here this whole haul is a couple of items that i haven't yet discussed on the youtube channel but i really want to just say to you guys look you need these i've actually found my favorite ever pair of gymshark shorts like they are divine i've got them in every single color non-stop wearing them they've already launched but i needed to show you guys because it's important now quick recap sizing um i'm currently in a growing phase so i am five foot ten I weigh put around two and a half kilograms up from um, 12 to 13 weeks ago now, 76 and a half kilograms. So I'm currently wearing a small in the bottom, um, which no doubt I'm soon gonna have to go back up to a medium, I would say. And then a small in the bra and the tops as well, okay. I haven't measured my glutes in a period of time, to be fair, but the last time I was sitting around 40, 41 inches. My waist, I would say, is probably around 30, 31 inches. My discount code is GLJ. So if you do use my um, discount code, thank you so much. But please note, Everything I say to you guys is the honest truth. If I like an item, I will tell you. If I don't, I will tell you. If you've watched my channel for a long period of time, hauls are my favorite, you know this, um, and you know I'm always honest with you about my hauls. Apart from that, I know it's been obviously a while. I do apologize. You'll see my last videos um, on here if you haven't already, go and catch up. So yeah, that's what we need to know. Let's get into it. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Any questions, obviously pop them down below. Otherwise, let's get into the haul. First up, we're starting with a product that has actually already launched, um, and Gymshark have actually had these for quite some time. But this is the Adapt, okay? I'm literally obsessed. They are in collaboration with Whitney Simmons. Simmons? Simmons. I think that's how you say her surname. Apologies if I've absolutely butchered that. <laughs> so the, the green and the actual orange are like orangey red, a kind of brand new. Blue I've had now for a good couple of months, I would say. Let me tell you guys, honestly, incredible. Absolutely bloody love them. So with these, we have the actual scrunch bum on the obviously behind. Love it. Literally love it. And then apart from that, they're very, very plain. They're very simple. So no kind of contouring. Like it's very plain and very simple. Now these honestly fit me like an absolute glove. Like I'm going to try and put some videos here. Here's a green pair. This green um, obviously of me just literally posing <laughs> and then also training as well here's me in the blue um i'll see if i've got a video of myself in the red i have worn it but i don't know if i've got a video yet honestly love them now i am wearing a small in these fit me like a glove now you guys know i don't like it if it's too tight around my quad i don't like that it's a good fit like it fits me well it fits me comfortably yes i would say they do roll up a little bit but again that doesn't bother me um in all honesty so the design i love them let me show you the different prints so here you can see we have more like the animal print there which i love these like this is just so cute i have the matching sports bra as well and it's literally lush like that is an insane color gorgeous then we have this print which actually is slightly different so let me just put the two prints next to each other so you can see them you can see the two different prints there um they're actually to a degree quite similar i would actually say but there, there is a difference the orangey red is again the same in terms of the actual animal print now what you can see here is these are stretchy they are seriously stretchy and i think this is why i love them so much because they're not rigid like look at this this is not suffocating my quad which is good like i'm glad for that okay um they've obviously got the waist Band, which i think is a nice size i don't roll this down like it sits very comfortably on me they're just perfect like they literally are perfect because they're not restrictive they're flattering they're comfy and i love them so honestly out of anything out of this whole entire haul you need these like these are literally my go-to and i'm really gutted that obviously in the uk we're going into winter but i still think i'm gonna wear the short version because I'm like in terms of outfits i much prefer shorts over leggings but anyway that's item number one. Next up, we're moving on to the Legacy Collection. Let's start with the sports bras. So, again, guys, look at this colour. This is actually gorgeous. This is the smallest sports bra ever. <laughs> but you guys know, this is right up my street. <laughs> this is a bit of me. This, I would say, like it. I don't love it. I think it's very flattering, but I also find because it is very minimal, no pads here, okay? It's literally nothing in it. Like you can literally see it's like, it's flat basically. The back is gorgeous. So you can see the back there, like it's really cute. I really like it. There's no adjustable straps to so do bear that in mind. It's one of those sports bras where I can't sit in it all day, for example. It's very much for the gym, come home, change. Because I find that it's kind of quite tight and digging into my skin. I love this logo though. And this is just like the legacy logo, isn't it? Like it's just such a sick logo. Then obviously we have the, 
black, which again, gorgeous. It's really cute, okay? Supportive wise, let's be realistic, it's not very supportive. Like usually, and I think this is obviously with the minimal bra as well, you know how it's very small underneath your actual boobs. Um, same again, obviously here, like it's very much, it just cuts off and that's it done. Whereas obviously with other sports bras, you then got like the extra bit underneath your actual chest itself. It's one of those sports bras that if I did that all of a sudden, like pick my arms up or like move to the side, I'm like, oh, am I going to reveal something? So just bear that in mind. If you are bigger chested, it might be worth just considering a different sports bra if that feels more comfortable. It's up to you, obviously, but I would stay true to size. I don't need to size up. It's a good fit. Now, I feel like you can really see what I mean. Like it sits very high up. If I lift my arms too high, I would still feel very like, just be careful. These are the straps here. They have kind of no real relevance, it feels like. But the actual back is like gorgeous. I have just found that the actual initial getting this on has been kind of quite challenging. The first time I wore it, I put it on and I was stuck. You know, when you're in that position, like, I'm stuck. I literally stood here like 10, 15 minutes trying to get the sports bra on. Anyway, here we are. So as you can see, like it does sit quite high up. The actual bra itself, like underneath the armpits is not too tight. And I really love the back. That's very cute. You can't obviously adjust the straps, but it does move around. I don't know if that makes any sense because basically like these alter depending on how tight you wear the actual bra itself. But it's cute. Like I love this hair and I do feel like it actually gives me a little bit of cleavage, which is a first. <laughs> Next up we have the matching leggings. Oh, bit of fluff. This material, it's not my favorite material and it's not. I just find this material is never as flattering, but that is literally personal preference. This reminds me of very much Lou Lou Lemon vibes. And I always find it's never as flattering because I find it never sticks in one position, if that makes sense. Whereas other leggings like the Adapt, for example, is slightly thicker, but they just stay in one position. Whereas these, I do find like they fall down a bit more and they're just not as comfy from personal preference. This is the back, obviously. I love, love, love this logo. Um, Like I just said, I think that's really, like it's such a cool design. Underneath that, we actually have the scrunch bum, which is very flattering. I really like the scrunch bum and there's nothing else. Like the leggings are literally then plain. They are simple. Like the color is gorgeous. Like I actually love that color. And I think a bit of blonde hair. I think it's a nice color. I love that. Now, also, I think one thing to note with these, they have like the contouring. So it goes down here and then comes back up. So it just really obviously accentuates the curves there. Now, you guys know me. I am picky when it comes to scrunch bums <laughs> because I am the most clumsiest person, fake nails. And I think I'm very easy to quickly pull my leggings up. And the next minute I've actually ripped the bum off them. Now, these, I would say this looks very secure in my eyes. As you can see, like with the actual scrunch bum, the inside here, obviously, like it just looks secure. Like you can see that it's not going to rip if you kind of quickly pull them up. It's kind of like a fake scrunch bum, I would say, with these. Can you see how like it even just sits like that as well? Whereas if I compare them, bear with me, if I compare them obviously to the actual Adapt, like the Adapt actually purposely has like the line in the actual bum, whereas these don't like they actually don't definitely a different um scrunch bum these i would say stay true to size i just personally don't think they're as flattering on me and how i like to wear my leggings so i would say like i like them i love the color like they're not my favorite look i would give them like a seven or an eight out of ten whereas the adapt for example is a 10 out of 10 so yeah love cute but not my favorite okay so now trying the purple leggings i would say i could potentially size up i think they're definitely on the tighter side for myself or the small so i think i could size up second is when i actually wear them i'm like oh they don't actually have a scrunch bum when they're off when you actually just hold them up you're like oh yeah they have a scrunch bum but they actually don't when you're wearing them they're not the most flattering i like them i love the color but i do think i would definitely benefit from sizing up um and of course personal preference just the actual material itself i do prefer the adapt next up we have the short version so these are in like an adapt camo adapt it's like a camo um pattern here i guess you could say again we've got the back gorgeous love it these have no scrunch bum so as you can kind of see here they still have the part where it goes down a little bit of contouring which is cute there is no front seam 10 out of 10 from me i'm not a fan of front seam oh my god i didn't even realize this oh wow look oh cool how awesome it then goes back into place how sick is that <laughs> I did not realize that. Okay, lesson learned there. So as you can see, it looks like that there, okay. And then you literally just pull this up and you've basically created like a rouge with the leg. Awesome. Again, it's just not a material that I personally would run for. I love the design and I absolutely love the design. I love the back, for example. It's just not my favorite material. I just personally don't like how they sit as much on my bum and just on my legs in general compared to the Adapt. Again, in these, I am wearing a small. I would say true to size um, and I like them, but I don't love them. Okay, next up, guys. This honestly is a 10 out of 10 from me and I was very surprised. Now, I love myself like a cute airport outfit that's like comfy, it's cozy and it looks good. And I always wear for my airport outfits. Um, I actually always wear the gym shoes. 
shark. Uh, what are they? The physical ED tracksuit, basically. But anyway, aside from the point, we have a short. Guys, we have a short. I tried them on the other day because I was like, oh my God, there's my holiday outfit, my airport outfit for when we go away in literally three weeks time. I found it. Literally, I found it. It was quick, it was simple, and it was literally sat right in front of me. These fit me like a glove. Please tell me, anybody else struggles with this, shorts, I just feel like I just look no, it just, just doesn't flatter me. Like, I feel like I look like a SpongeBob where it just sits on me, basically. But these are so flattering. Um, I absolutely love them. These are in a small. I would say, to be fair, they're on, like, the slightly tighter side on my bum. But again, like, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm happy. Like, they're a comfy fit. Gorgeous. Like, literally insane. They're actually flattering as well. Love they have pockets. And that's actually a deep pocket. Let me show you. I've got my Pro Max phone. It's actually deep. It goes all the way down. You can't even see the phone. 10 out of 10 from me. Um, and, yeah, they're plain. They're simple. As you can see, there's a little bit of different texture um, on the side, obviously, there. But apart from that, like, they're really nice. I'm gonna have a look if there's different colors because I do actually really like this color. I was thinking of pairing it with, like, a white t-shirt and just leaving it at that. That's such an easy airport outfit. We've got, like, an eight-hour flight, so this would be so comfy. Nice kind of comfy socks. Pair of trainers, cute white t-shirt, 10 out of 10. So, yeah, honestly, this is my second pair of item out of this whole launch, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, next up, we have a new collection. I don't think this is launched yet. So, let's start with the leggings. So, this is actually what I wore yesterday to the gym. Honest opinion, there is one critique from myself, and I don't know if it's just me, it might be a tall gal thing, but I do not like where the actual underneath sits on my bum. Can you see how they've obviously got like the actual contouring underneath? Now, this kind of contouring literally pulls your bum up and it really does i was stood there looking in the mirror like oh okay <laughs> because it literally holds your bum up so i think you guys can see in the video of the blue leggings just where like the actual contouring sits underneath my bum especially on that side shot you can really see how like my bum comes out and it like bumps and then basically comes back in um so just obviously bear that in mind but i think the video shows like, a good representation of that so i personally find the contouring sits like halfway at my bum obviously again i completely appreciate that i do wear my leggings up slightly higher so that is probably my own fault not the leggings fault the stretchiness in insane guys like literally insane I remember when I got them out of the packet and I was like, oh no, these are going to be really tight on me and just no stretch at all. Like I was literally proven completely wrong. So these are the ankles. Like as you can see, there is given them. If we're looking at the actual quad itself, like you can see here, and if I pull them apart, like there's actually, it's movable. Like it's not rigid at all. I would say, you know, like the Adapt collection, it's quite, a, it can be a little bit stiff, but not too stiff. Like I would say this is just generally more flexible than that, which really, really surprised me. The actual design, I love them because they've obviously got all like these cool lines on the actual leg, as you can see. Like the contrast of the different blues is such a cool feature. I think that's really awesome. So there we go. We can see this obviously as the front, as you can see, so flattering there. And then obviously from behind, it goes around the kind of glutes up there. And of course up there as well. So yeah, I really like like them they're not my favorite but they are comfy um and the material is insane like i said it's just the actual contouring underneath the bum just to kind of consider the only other thing you see here with the logo like i feel like it's very much like a box logo like it's not as just smooth compared to what gymshark usually do like it just looks like it's just been like put on but again that might just be the effect of the material they were going with but apart from that love like literally love them like look how stretchy they are look at that <laughs> And no, I didn't suffer with any sheerness, nothing like that at all. I wouldn't size up. I really don't need to size up and I wouldn't suggest that. I would actually stay true to size. They are like a dark blue. I wouldn't say they're actually black. That could be my eyesight. Yeah, they're dark blue. <laughs> Let me show you the shorts. Guys, how do I think I'm gonna fit into these? Like, I honestly look at this and think, unless these have some serious stretch again, like there is no way I'm getting my leg into even one of them. We'll see, we, we will see. So as you can see though, um, I think I'll be proven wrong because like this obviously is where your quad sits. They are stretchy and they are. Again, and I think with this color, you really actually see the contouring underneath the bum. And I feel like you can really see where your bum just sits in these. I, I, I love the design though. Like I love all the lines in it. I think it's so different. And then we obviously have the front here there is no front seam which is good love that again it looks so different doesn't it it looks cute let me compare them to the adapt bear with both of these are a small bear that in mind we have the adapt and we have then the new collection as you can see here there is a significant size difference there if we're looking then at length that's quite a big difference this could be interesting i think i'm gonna find the blue a little bit too short for my liking but again i love the color so let's see okay i love the color of these it's like i mentioned it's just where the contour is on the actual bum like i can't pull them up and sit them how i like to sit them so I do feel for myself like they're not the most flattering. As you can see like here, they are very, 
very, very stretchy. And I have actually rolled the waistband um, down because I do think it's really kind of high for myself. I love the design. And from here, like, as you guys can see, like, they do fit nicely. It's then when I turn around, like, can you see how I feel? It's sitting obviously here, but it's not that flattering. Like, if you don't pull your leggings up and shorts up how I personally do, then you might prefer them. Um, I Like I said, I love the color and I do. I love all the actual design on them. It's just that contouring underneath the bum. Next up, we then have this new collection, um, which is not coming until the start slash mid of October. So just bear that in mind. Let's dive into the sports bra. Let's start with the kind of sports bra. Okay, um, so yes, I have the black and I also have a blue. Gorgeous. Again, how many times can I say gorgeous in this haul? This color is so pretty. So, you guys know me, okay, straight away. And to be fair, even with this, like I'm surprised that I wear this so frequently. I am very much a small strap person, like this minimal sports bra here. I don't know what it is, but I just find obviously flat, like the really thick straps are just not the most flattering for myself. I'm just not like a thick strap person. I like thin straps, personal preference. There is no padding on these. Now, I love the color. I think the color is so nice. This cut, I don't find it's the most flattering on me, but I just find that I'm just not a huge fan. I don't know if it's because I have no boobs and I just find like it makes it feel even more flat chested than I already am. But the actual bra, I love it. And I, and I do, like I love the color. Um, the actual material is quite rigid, I would say. But again, I just don't like the actual cut um, in terms of like the straight cut and the thick straps. As you can see, there is definitely a lot of like lines contouring on this actual bra. And then from behind as well, again, as you can see, you've got obviously all the different lines and the different textures there. And from the front, there you go, you can see all the textures, which is quite cool. And then of course we have it in the actual black. I love the blue, um, I just, I'm definitely in this in my kind of era where I'm like, yeah, all the color again. Um, but I love that. Like, I think that's really nice. So I would say true to size. I don't think you need to size up. I don't think you need to size down. There is no adjustable straps. As you can see, these straps are plain. They are simple. Um, of course, like I said, no padding. So just bear that in mind. I don't know if you guys get the gist of what I'm on about here, but do you see like, I just feel like it makes me look even more flat chested and I actually already am. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just me. It's just me with this kind of style of just cut of any top anyway. I just feel like it makes me look very, boom. But anyway, we move. <laughs> you guys know I love like any jackets, any just over the top um, with the sports bra. This is so cute. I love it. I literally love it. Color, I'm not a huge fan. It just drowns me out a little bit because obviously I'm quite pale anyway. I would definitely prefer this in the blue, but the actual design is so nice. It is so cute. That is just so me to an absolute T. Now, as you can see, again, all of the different textures um, on this here. So obviously you have the behind. So you've got all the different textures here as we go down. Um, again, all the different textures. And then from the actual front, here we go, we can see all of this. You have got the zip here. So I would always wear it just closed. Um, I just think it's more flattering. This is a small, um, literally love it. It's stretchy. It's not too high on the armpit. It's yeah, this does get a 10 out of 10. Just, I prefer the black or the actual blue. This is one of those free thin moments. <laughs> there we go. Okay guys, let me tell you, this top is so tight right now. Around my neck, if I put it up here, you guys can see like that is literally sucked in. And I would say for my liking, it's a little bit too tight, especially around the neck, so I probably wouldn't have it that high. It does sit quite high up, and I don't think it's meant to sit that high. I would say it's meant to sit slightly lower. So for me, I would have to size up because like if I show you like this will ping off, like it literally will ping. How does that sit so tightly? even when it's not done up. So for me, yeah, this is too small. I pass you to size up. I do like, once it's on though, I like how it fits. And I think if it was black, like I really would like it. But I just think for myself right now, it's just a little bit too tight a little bit too tight, so bear that in mind. We are on to our final two items. So next up we have is the shorts. With these, there is no front seam. You have got all the different textures, obviously at the top here. I've got a really nice like matching set there, which is really cute. And then from behind, all the different textures. So just to kind of show you obviously the back with the waistband. They really have kind of gone in with this effect again. Like it's like a love heart, isn't it? Like it goes around the bum there. Um, and then at the bottom, there is nothing, okay? So there's no contouring at the bottom of these. Let's compare the actual size again okay so the adapt obviously is the red now as you can see with the brand new collection here again these are definitely smaller um again same with the previous collection like i've just shown you and the actual length as well again yeah we have a big difference here so i don't think i want to love these let's see let's not judge a book by its cover um but as we can see there they're definitely smaller so this will be interesting to try okay so let's be honest guys um these are a little bit too short on me i'm going to show you the front but i won't show you the back just because i think <laughs> youtube 
they block the video. <laughs> um, but anyway, actual material, like I like the material. Um, it's stretchy. I think if I had the leggings or if they, they did like a, a cycling short in this material and the, this style, love it. I would love it 100%. They do a legging, but I don't have the leggings. So as you can see here, like they are very, very short me. The waistband is a decent size though. And as you can see, like it is stretchy. And from the kind of side here, like they're not too tight. They are just very short. So you can kind of imagine what it's like from the actual side. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind. The final item we have is this all-in-one, um, which is so cute, love this. So this obviously is the exact same texture. We have obviously the thick straps here. Now in terms of the back, there is a hole in the back here. And then of course, we've got like some different textures around obviously the bum there. So that's above the bum. And then of course, around the actual legs itself, it's very plain. So as we can see, like it's very stretchy around the actual um, leg and then actually on the front. So down the leg, there you go. You guys can see around kind of your waist area. We've got all the different textures here, which I think is very, very flattering. There is of course no adjustable straps to this. It does, however, feel stretchy. So this can be interesting. I, I think the mice might be kind of quite short, but I don't know. So this could be interesting. Um, I have got this in a medium. Okay, so let's see how we fit with this. So let's see how we find it. Okay, so bodysuit wise, fit. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Like it actually fits me quite well. I would just say um, in terms of just generally kind of flat, Flattering. I wouldn't say it's the most flattering, but it does fit me. Like I definitely needed a medium. As you can kind of see, like the actual legs, it does fit nicely. Um, so it's not too tight around the actual quads. Like it's a tightness that I thought it would be. With the actual waist as well, like it's not kind of baggy or anything. Like I can move it so I can breathe. I've just kept like the legacy bra on underneath it just because I wanted to see what it was like. As you can see there, that's obviously like the thicker straps. And then from behind, so like I said, look, I wouldn't say it's the most flattering. I do like obviously the big, um, open back there the actual gaping here like it doesn't actually gape that much guys i'm pleasantly surprised this was an area that i thought it would gape quite a lot and obviously bear in mind like these other straps are from the bra itself in terms of on the glutes like it sits nicely underneath like it's actually comfy usually for these kind of items i'm like mm, they don't suit me i don't know if it's just me like <laughs> i don't know um but actually i'm actually pleasantly surprised and there we have it guys that is my gymshark haul all wrapped up um i hope you enjoyed i hope you find some items that you absolutely love as always any questions please pop them down below thank you so much again if you do use my discount code glj honestly it means the absolute world one final thing please make sure you're on my broadcast channel which i'll pop right here because this is where i'm posting a giveaway i'm posting my own journey updates new item lots and lots are going into that broadcast channel so do make sure kind of you're signed up so you're not missing out on any giveaways and i will catch you guys next sunday